Yo, welcome back. See, you got a futuristic swag. You can call me Swaggy Black P. That makes sense? No, you don't like it? All right, cool. The Black Convo, you got Yellow Bastard, G -Baby. G Baby. And today we're gonna to talk about a very interesting topic. We're gonna to lay it off the chest. We're gonna talk about the ASAP Rocky. Now, a lot of people are slandering ASAP, saying, yo, he deserved this shit. He deserved to be locked up because of what? Who's saying that? What do you mean who's saying that? What would you, a lot of people saying that shit, right? I well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, bro. Yes, yes. A lot yeah. of people are saying. I won't say a lot of people. Let, let me take it back from the beginning, bro. Basically, ASAP Rocky went in Sweden. I guess he was doing some like show or some concert, whatever the fuck he was doing. But he was out there with his bodyguards and got jumped by a couple two white skinny niggas, right? Go, go, go that way. Go that way. What? Just go that Where's way. Keep following what? niggas. Go what? that Dude, way. He's following us. Go that way. Go fight between. No, bro, Let's nobody go, wants go. to fight with him, bro. Chill, go that chill. way, bro. You, go that way. You, 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 bro, bro. Nobody wants to fight with him. Go that way. My headphone, my headphone, you're trusting. Bro, bro. You're trusting my headphone. Give him my headphone. My headphone. Go that way. Give him my headphone. Yo, we have to fix it. What are they fighting? The altercation, whatever the case is. And they were fighting those two little skinny niggas. And all of a sudden, the security got involved. And whatever, police got involved. Go somewhere, some way. And then everybody except ASAP Rocky was the only one who went to jail. If you want to try, I said they picked him out and said, yo, you were the reason why this shit happens and they took him to jail. Nobody else was arrested or involved in the incident except ASAP Rocky. My friend, go this way. You know? Go this way. You know? I feel you. Go listen, this way. listen, listen. We don't want to fight y'all. We're not trying to go to jail. My head's one, my head's one. He's fucking my head. I want my head one. You hit him with it. I want my head one. You hit him with it. I want to go down the street. You know, you you fuck it, go down the street. You fuck it, go down the street. Listen, you listen, fuck listen, it, bro. Bro. You okay, bro. You fuck it's it, bro. Chill. Why you? Why you? Why you? Man, I want, I want, I want my headphone. Stop. Why you stop? He he fucked with my headphone. Exactly. What do you mean? The they were beefing. Yeah. 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 Yeah
The same situation I'm the G Easy. Y'all caught with some cocaine, guess what? The next day they let him go. That's who if you want to try G Easy. He got caught with some cocaine, the next day they let him go. At the end of the day, man, Asia had no drugs on him. That was, and it was a drug and He had no drugs on him. He feel he had no drugs on him. He he didn't assault him by according to the videos. He wasn't involved or nothing. But yet he's being held all this time, and he's not getting out. No time soon. It seems like it. You feel me? And everyone is screaming free ASAP, free ASAP, free ASAP. No, on top of all of that, there's also rumors being said that he's being held in very unsanitary conditions. You see, but let me let me show you something. Let me show you something. Even with you saying that unsanitary conditions, what happened in Charleston? Wait, man. What happened made him write that tweet back in the days? Well, uh, no, he, it was um, it was an interview. It did. Interview from a magazine. I think it was like GQ or something like that, where he came out. And he basically said that he don't give a fuck about the Black Lives Matter. He don't care. It doesn't. It doesn't concern him. He lives in Beverly Hills. He lives in Soho, and none of that shit affects him. So he don't give a fuck. So, I hope. Well, that's I hope you see people. now. Motherfucker, that it affects you because it don't matter how much money you got or where you go or what people. you in, you still seen as a nigga. Yeah. Period. Period. You understand what I'm saying? No matter where you go, what type of money you have. So you, that's why I say you reap what you sow. You said that bullshit, and this is probably the the Almighty showing you, nigga, that yeah, bro, you nigga, it could happen to you too, bro. But at the same time, do you feel like we're wrong for feeling this way? Like Feeling what way? No, that see, he... I don't think Drew is saying that's what you get. Right. I think Drew is saying in a sense of, because this is how I feel. If he said all of that, then you felt like being black and the, the things that we go through doesn't apply to you. So this is what basically I feel like what yeah. Drew's trying to say is now you're saying, okay. he's not saying good for you. I, I, he's saying, I, now I, do you see that? So my, my, point, point, my point still stands. I don't think there's are, anything wrong with that. Are people wrong? For saying that he deserves to be locked up, mm -hmm. that he deserves they did they wrong him. because I don't you not put unless it's rape, murder, some down? type of murder or you understand what I'm saying? That's the only time you can sit there and say yes, you deserve that. Stay your ass in jail. Yeah. So, but you, you you talking about a dude who didn't in all actuality ain't did shit. You understand what I'm saying? So no, no innocent motherfucker deserves not to just, sit in no jail. Not just especially no jail in no next rights. country were violated in Sweden. And his because rights got, got if violated. If you look at the treaty that we have in place, because uh, Sweden is an ally, and with that treaty, the minute a United States citizen is arrested, you have right to counsel. You're supposed to be in contact with your embassy, and they're supposed to guide you on how to move forward. The Sweden um, prosecutors would not like he requested his counsel they had counsel come down to where they was holding him and it denied him access to it right. when he finally got access to a counsel it was only in front of the police officers right. he wasn't even allowed to discuss in private like how he and with that treaty he has those rights mm. They're not right. honoring any of that. I hear all of that, man. And I'm, I feel for you, homie. You feel because nobody deserved to go through that. Nobody, mm -hmm. white or black, whether when it comes to you being innocent, you dig? Right. But, bruh, like you got this is a sign for you, homie. Like mm -hmm. you're Have not a you're not, ablo you're not so, above being one of us, dog. Let me ask you really this not. question because one of the things I have heard uh, the controversy around is people saying that. He had a lot to lose, and he should have just walked away. But how he was? I feel like he did try to walk away multiple times. He was followed. The video shows that. But everyone, that, that's one thing that I'm hearing is he should have left. He should have walked away. He should have found a different way out. That that's what his security is for. People are all gonna say that fuck shit when that they're in the situation. Security should have handled it. And she you feel what I'm saying? Because like, I'm, I ain't gonna dig. I ain't gonna lie to you. He handled that shit very well. Because if that was me, I would have slapped Buddy face off. I would have gave them, and then I would have been there. I that would have been my outcome. Listen, I would have did that. The point of the story is, bro, when you go over them countries, all you might be. I'm not no big star. I'm not a big artist or whatever the case is, but. If I'm going over there, bro, I ain't fuck with nobody. I'm gonna well, do my shit. You say that? I'm just saying like he he could not have done that. You feel me? There's nothing he could do yeah. in that situation. It's, I'm saying that's an anomaly. But I'm just saying just in general, bro. Like you say you're gonna slap him. Don't do that, bro. Cause once you get fucked up in that country, bro, you're fucked. There's no way sometimes the United States can't help you though. Like in this situation, this is that's their country on their soil. So you can do what the fuck they wanna do to you. Yes, so let's bro. talk about one more thing, since we were talking about the treaty, the laws and the violations. One of the biggest issues that he's having right now is there's a law in Sweden 
which is why they are going so hard on him right now. Because if he is proven innocent, Sweet has to pay him all the money. for all the money he lost yeah. for the tours. For the, I mean, for the shows Everything he had missed. to cancel, yeah. they are then responsible for paying him back for all. Which is a dope ass fucking. So let me ask you this, and ask our um, family here on YouTube: Do you think that he's being held down and treated the way he's being treated because Trump got involved, or because they don't want to pay him? No, yeah. regardless if Trump got involved or not. He like, was some he would've been out. What do you mean? Fuck you mean? He would've been out if Trump ain't get involved. You understand what I'm saying? Yo, they didn't just do like a fucking clown. Now we're gonna drag you. We have that time that they made. Kim has something to do with this shit, right? Kardashian too, right? She involved, right? You feel what I'm saying? You're you, you a joke. We got fucking TV stars running on the country, you, right? You Tell me that. But Kim and Kanye, I mean Kim and Kanye don't got enough power to go to the Swedish government themselves and say, yo. They did! You know I mean? so why go and Trump? you made it worse. Because they're basically saying the upper, the upper ups aren't going to be able to do anything. This is our government, and I'm, and I'm, and, our and, laws, and way, our rules, and we're gonna handle it the way we want to. We don't give a shit. If he's and in a way, I think. But I'm saying is their answer to that because of who our president is now. Would they have honored I the treaty so, bro. with think, a more I respectable think, president? I think that's goody for that nigga in a way. You know why, bro? Because you got you got money. You I just feel like Sweden's trying to make uh, Sweden's trying to make a point. Exactly. That our government you got can't be taken money. serious. Like, that okay, too. who the fuck is you? you? You can't do nothing. They literally told him, butt out. You know, yeah, we, we, we looked at it as a, as a country, I feel like everybody else. We might not feel like that because it's where we from. But I think everybody else look at us like a clown. Dog. Bro, we all know that, man. The point of the story is, man, is it free ASAP or does it deserve everything he's getting? At the end of the day, man, we all make mistakes in life. He said his comments in 2014 or 15. That's four years ago, man. Yeah, because we all we grow, grow more shit. We learn, and we haven't heard anything about him saying anything on Black Lives Matter since then. You feel me? So the point of the story is, yo, listen, free ASAP Rocky. He don't deserve that, to be in that but condition. He doesn't deserve none of that shit he's going through, regardless of what he did four or five years ago. You feel me? I'm trying to say, yeah, people need to cut that shit out, let the man go. That's it, man.